Hey guys, in this video we are talking about projectile motion. And you know you have a, project a projectile motion question when you have something like an object being thrown horizontally off a cliff. So it's anything where the path of the falling objects makes sort of a curve. And the most important thing to keep in mind with projectile motion is that the way that your object is moving, so sort of in like a diagonal, is made up of two parts. It's made up of a horizontal vector and a vertical vector going down because of the force of gravity. In the down vector, your acceleration is due to gravity, and you'll want to use one of the formulas we've talked about all throughout kinematics. Any of the starred formulas will work to get you information about the up and down component of that velocity vector. The So that's what we're talking about. The one that talks about horizontal motion, that's without respect to gravity. So think of it as it's just the same as if it was like on a table or a smooth surface going across. We've got a component of a vector affected by gravity and the left and right component is not affected by gravity. So the formula for this part is V equals D divided by T, velocity equals displacement divided by time. So we're going to do a question, a sort of a more complicated question just so you can get a sense as to how you might need information from the vertical vector to solve for the horizontal vector. So we have an object is thrown horizontally at a velocity of 10 meters per second from the top of a 90 meter building. Calculate the distance from the base of the building that the object will hit the ground. So what they're asking us is, when we throw our object off the building, how far away? What is this distance? That's what we're ultimately solving for. So that is with respect to the starting point up here. That's a horizontal distance. That's this vector. So we're going to use the formula V equals D divided by T. So the velocity, we're told, is 10 meters per second. We don't have the distance or the displacement. We don't have the time either. So you can't solve an equation where you have two unknowns. So what that means is we need to look at the vertical component of this velocity vector to solve for time so that we can use velocity and time to solve for displacement or distance down here in orange. So I just wrote down the information we're given. We can assume that we're not moving when we throw our object off a building. So the initial velocity would be zero. The height of the building for the vertical vector, the height is, we're going to denote that with the symbol D for displacement. So that would be 90 meters. Acceleration is acceleration due to gravity. So it would be 9.8 meters per second squared. So the best formula to use for this particular question is D equals V naught T plus one half A T squared. We have D is 90. We have V naught is zero. The time we don't know, but zero times time is times time is just going to be zero anyway. Plus one half acceleration is due to gravity, nine point eight, and then T squared. We're solving for T because this T we can plug in here to solve for displacement because we were given the velocity in the question. Once we have T, we can solve for D. So all I'm going to do is simplify this. I have 90 equals 9.8 times a half. 9.8, you can go divide by 2, 4.9 t squared. So to get t squared by itself, I'll just divide by 4.9 on both sides. 90 divided by 4.9, I get that's equal to about 18.4 and that equals t squared. So to find regular t, you just need to square root both sides. The square root of 18.4 I get is equal to 4.29.
approximately. It was just a long decimal, so I'm going to round that to, that says 2, 4.29 seconds. So I'll go back up here. The time it takes to hit the